on the one-on-one, -on -one, Freddy Montero is not that great a dribbler. When you see him with the ball against another defender, he's not necessarily beating that defender. It's when he has multiple defenders around him and he goes, T -t 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 -t. it's the quick touches that he does to just weave his way through. He gives them a flair and a dose of unpredictability. And when he's feeling it, you really, you can't stop him with one guy. He is always in control of the ball and very impressive how he can do it with many guys around him in such a tight space. And he, more than so many guys in MLS, just has that ability to just make defenders look so stupid. And the nice thing about after he does the, the, the feints and the tricks and everything is that he'll launch an amazing attempt on goal immediately afterwards. Freddie Montero is probably the best forward in the league at creating space for himself out of nothing. He's really good in tight spaces. We saw that in his goal against the Vancouver Whitecaps earlier this season, where Martin Rennie, head coach, said we gave him a little bit of space, a little bit of time, and that's all he needs. He needs one yard and he can get off a shot and no this goal. What Freddie Montero lacks in size and power, he makes up for in the ability to hold the ball on a string and move it wherever he wants. And you've seen this in several examples. I think about the goal he scored against Vancouver last year that was up for goal of the year. That, that's an example of him just being able to control the ball in a way that I don't, I don't think that can be taught. 